saying, I'm standing behind a quiz that's called integrity. And this lady, she was famous for the mass of politics. The background item in this one is a beautiful wedding dress from the 1960s that was given to me by a woman named Carla who has a business called Rosie's Traveling Trunk Show. She refurbishes items. Um, this is just a gorgeous piece. Central to this is um, um, the La Follette. Here is... Um, Robert La Follette's funeral procession as seen from Willie Street and then of course his wife who was very instrumental in ensuring that Wisconsin was the first state to ratify the vote for women. East number one chef of course is Milt McPike. This was given to me by his wife. He was the beloved principal at East High School. Here's a lovely hat that was given to me by Deb Bachman belonging to her mother from Bachman Construction, and she said that her mom grew up on a farm and never had enough money to be able to afford a lovely hat like this, and recalls the time when the business was doing well enough that she could actually purchase a hat. This apron, which is discolored, uh, survived the fire in Josie's restaurant. This was behind glass there. It's the one item that did survive that fire. The discoloration is from the fire and I think it has some historical significance and I certainly didn't want to wash it. The uh, leotard and poster are from Canopy Dance. This is a bit of a graffiti from a shirt done by a young man who had been a student at Shabazz High School. He was a classmate of my daughter's. And um, that young man died an early death. A lot of the lace here was given by Ann Wiedelick, who is a local historian. And then there's a piece over here of a young woman's wedding dress who just got married this year in the Capitol and this wedding dress originally was worn by her mother and she altered it, cut it off and gave me some of the leftover fabric. We handed over our hand-me-downs, our sweaters, sweatshirts, scarves and skirts. She catalogued, collaged, and kaleidoscoped boas, belts, brocades, bibs, bonnets, buttons, bric-a-brac, and bell-bottomed slacks. Then invited us to quilting bees, where seamy connections were wrought among soldiers, dreamers, anti-war activists, dancers, dressmakers, and political schemers, mothers who knitted caps for their daughter's chemo, and sons who transgress the bonds of seriousness to give us the onion and ask, what do you know? While our t-shirts told us, touch the earth, save seeds, free the donuts, take back the night. <laughs> <laughs>